any of anybody that's been watching my videos <clears throat> knows that I've been looking for a, a dump trailer to pull with a 210 now that I got that and um, you know or the Massey but I bounced those ideas off the wall and one of them just stuck didn't I mean it just fell down and that was the DR now they make a nice trailer it's a it's a one ton so it's 2,000 pounds that you can put in it but then I got talking to the engineers up there and they said it can only lift 650 pounds why do you make a trailer that can haul 2,000 pounds but can't dump it? I'm not knocking their product. In that respect, I am a little. You know, you gotta, you gotta, your engineers gotta be thinking about that. But so I. But you know, I mean, it's a good trailer as far as you know. I mean, sure, you know, for a regular, I guess the regular homeowner, I, I, it's not. It can't be for me, you know. It might be used at the home, at my house or whatever. But I got, I got landscape work to do. I've got farm work to do, and if I'm gonna dump three thousand pounds of dirt in it, I want to dump three thousand pounds of dirt too. I don't want to be messing around shoveling it off because that's what they said the engineers well you know because they want you to buy their product you know you could shovel some of it off I'm like what <laughs> I don't want to do that I want to dump it you can say oh you're lazy well I'm not lazy I, I just you know if I want to if I'm gonna get a dump trailer I want it to dump <laughs> I wanted to dump what I can, you know, if it's rated at 3,000 pounds, then it should dump 3,000 pounds. But anyway, so that one is out because it just can't measure up to the work I have. I, I looked at that Taylor Way, I looked at other ones too, I can't remember all their names. But they're all the same price. The, the biggest thing to me is the shipping. I'd, I'd have had that Taylor Way, but they want a lot of money to ship it here. So it's like, you know, I get it. You know, the trucking company's got to make money too. And uh, the company that builds it doesn't want to uh, send the money or send it up here for, and they pay for the shipping. And then they, I guess their profit is gone. So I get it, you know, I was a trucker and so I know we all were out there making money. But it's a tough, it's a tough pill to swallow, you know, laying out, you know, four grand for a trailer that I'm not going to use every day, you know, it's not every day trailer. So. Oh, I've got to text Don. Just reminding myself. Um, but it's a nice trailer. It's a you know uh, three thousand pound trailer. I mean, it can haul three thousand pounds. And I like the trailer, you know. But we're still on the. <laughs> I know it. I guess I shouldn't have a videotaped all that because I was like really sure really sure you know and and then I'm like nah <laughs> so I've got a place to go look at over here and uh, near Auburn uh, and uh, I'm gonna go check that out I gotta get some gas I'm down with my lights on um, and or 
I have friends around here and they're really good at welding. And I'm thinking about asking my friend Bob who, uh, I don't know if he'll want to do it. It's a big, it's a big undertaking, you know, building a, you know, a trailer. I mean, it's not huge. I mean, it's uh, for a, that you, one that you could pull around with your tractor, you know, your garden tractor. But it's going to have to dump. And I could go with a wooden floor, you know. Um, I'll even go with a, a cheap floor. I don't care. It's, you know, like a three-quarter inch plywood, which should stand up to this, you know, with some cross members under it. It'll hold. And uh, so you need the tires, you know, the framework, <laughs> axle system kind of thing, which, which everybody's, you know, a lot of these companies spend a lot of time in their axle systems. I mean, if you look at that trailer right there, which we will right here. I mean, it's really just got leaf springs and tires. That's it. I, I don't even need the leaf springs on it. Just, you know, a nice axle system. I'm looking at gray, the cat's coming. He sees me here now. And um, and so that it, and it would have to tilt, you know. So you have to make it so it tilts and dumps. I don't know if he'll want to do it. It's a big undertaking, but I'll pay him. I'd pay him. Uh, a good fee I mean I'd still I could I could see it costing about two grand to build there's a two grand savings right there that's big money you know um you know for farmers and like me you want to save a little cash you got to do these kind of things all right it's t chore time well I'm here in here Senate, New York. Uh, sign says the guy will be back at one. It's ten minutes to one. I don't know if he's going to have a trailer for me. I mean, I see a lot of trailers that are uh, pull behind your pickup truck trailers, you know. But I don't think. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But. I guess I got here right at the wrong time. I went to the next door place where they sell tractors and stuff. And he said, no, we don't have any trailers. This is getting to be a pain in the butt. Unless you, uh, you know how to, you got a good shop which I don't, you got to have welders and you got to know what you're doing and you know uh, how to, you know, put a trailer together, you know, they're, it's not that easy. If I could get even a frame of one, you know, and just, yeah, I'd like it, just get a frame, you know, and I then I could go from there because I think that I got some friends that would build it but starting from scratch you know like you got nothing you got <laughs> what a pain they're out there these trailers it's not that they're not out there. It's what kind of money you want to spend. That's 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 all that matters. You want something, it's out there. It's what kind of money you want to spend. I mean, I've been looking really just to go cheap. I know. But for the use that I'm going to have it for, it's... You know, I really want to spend a whole lot of cash on it. Rather just, you know, 
buy an old old one you know and if it breaks a little you know fix it up but you know spending all that cash for something I'm not going to use that much I'll wait for this guy and uh, see what he has to say Scott sign up front says new and used trailers we're gonna figure it out I catch up with you well that's uh, my first John Deere I've owned in my life I've lived on a farm but didn't own any of the tractors so this is my first and this is built by John Deere just so that anybody knows you know I've I've had landscape equipment and I've studied on these tractors and most of John Deere's little tractors anymore are all built by MTD I'm not buying that junk but this one She's a John Deere, so I'll take it. That one behind it, that Massey Ferguson, you know, still built by Massey Ferguson. Uh, so they don't have MTD builder stuff. I don't think it was built in this country, but it's still Agco Allison, and it's a good tractor. So anyway, I was going to do a walk around on my new T 210, which is right here. It's it's a an older model, obviously. 38 inch deck. Uh, 300 pound wheel weights. Uh, well, 150 on each side, so 300 pounds. I need it for my new trailer that's coming. We'll do a walk around on my trailer when it comes in the next few days. Not anything that the trailer I bought is nothing like I originally planned, but it'll work for me. And for the money that I spent on it, we're good. All right. So this John Deere is a 210. Uh, you know, uh, it, uh, it's going to do a lot of pulling. As you can see, that it's 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 an older model. Has a nice uh, draw bar still on it, though. It's pretty thick steel here hold up uh, it's got nice tires on it sorry for the crap and she's got some rust spots we're gonna paint it actually uh, I don't know about this year but it's gonna get painted um, it has a new seat on it because I guess the guy had it said he put it on because um, you know it was pretty rough it's only uh, three gears but this is low, very low right here. You can flip it shut because I guess not too many people use first gear. Reverse. Um, let's see. You think this is second and third? I think that's how it goes. Okay, anyway, yeah. Throttle on this is nice here choke uh, some people probably don't care um, you have uh, your headlights the PTO in the front now this lever is uh, a little confusing to me I guess I'm we should take it for a spin here I haven't used it actually yet so but if anybody's familiar with uh, with uh, the old International Harvesters. I drove an 806 tractor over here on my godfather's farm. Is actually just over that way. Can't see it, but uh, and they had like a a torque converter. I guess it was. You pulled it either back or forward. I can't remember which way. Which slowed it down or made it go faster. But it would change the gear ratio and. And the tractor either go slower or faster if you just pull the lever. Well, that one does the same thing on this tractor. So, if anybody that has a 210 that's familiar with it, uh, give me a comment on it. 
10 horsepower is all it has. Um, but, you know, it's not power steering, obviously. This is the deck height. You can see that uh, when I pull the lever, that deck will go up. You know, and, and or down. I raised it up now because I was uh, oiling some of the wet things underneath. Uh, we'll start it up here shortly. It's pretty hard to open this hood because it's got a good latch on it, I guess. Hang on. Let me set this up. Hear the geese? There we go. So, again, I could do a little cleaning up on the engine. I gotta get a new battery. The battery is actually a good battery. But on this tractor, the guy just put this battery in. But it has space for a bigger one. And you can tell that, like on the, where it can hook up, it can hook up a bigger battery, which I'm going to. Just got an oil change on it. Um, it's a little dirty, but. Um, uh, listen to it. I'll crank it right up here. She sounds really good. So let's give it a crank. You might need a choke, I don't know. Hmm. Well, uh, either I'm in gear, or I've done something wrong, or you can't start it with the hood latch. have the uh, brake pedal on, but this is that thing hurt. I had it choked. I had it choked and it didn't need to choke because I had it just started. My bad. Listen to that thing. Nice little machine here. Let's take it for a little spin here. I gotta get used to this thing.
get I get more used to it. of it that thing is really really nice it's gonna do me a good job I'll tell you that right now now on uh, Nancy what I do with it oh there it is I saw I, uh, I started to use a uh, diesel supplement because th these days obviously uh, you know they don't Put any oils in the piece of fuel anymore so i found that uh, this house to focus on it house lubricator diesel treat uh is one of the best on the market i found and um i guess uh i guess i'm going to use that i put some in today and i probably should have uh, i've got about a hundred and 20 hours on that tractor already. I probably should have been using it already. Bad, my bad again. But I, uh, I started using it. I suggest anybody that's got a diesel, that's burning uh, this junk ass fuel that they're selling these days, uh, you, you put some supplement in it. Um, I, 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 I really suggest it. And again, with this tractor. It was built in the in the 80s. I think it's an 86. You know, burn leaded fuel. They sell it down here uh, where I live. Uh, there's one pump for that, and that's what the you know ethanol. No sir, it's no good for those tractors. You're buying that gas, and uh, whether you got an older tractor or whatever, even the newer ones, even on these lawnmowers. They even say in the manual, if you can get uh, leaded gas, get it. No ethanol, because it's junk. You know, our government has really ruined the, you, you know, they, there's too much EPA crap going on, you know, for, I mean, I know it's important, but then they should make engines that have a lubricator in them, that lubricate themselves, you know, but they're forcing the manufacturers to do this. And you know, and then the cost goes to us again on the, on the, on the price of the machine. So in the meantime, you know, you still gotta, you gotta do your homework now with this, with this stuff. You gotta, you gotta get a, um, you know, supplement for your diesel fuel. And you gotta go find a place that sells uh, leaded gas. They still sell it. Not just ethanol crap, 10% ethanol, ethanol they put in this gas now. And it's no good. It's just junk. It's not even good for your cars. But anyway, listen to that thing hum. That's a nice sounding tractor. Sitting there humming like that. Anyway, I wanted to do a walk around on it. I'll, uh, I got to get used to it, obviously, but anyway, uh, uh, I will, I'm that guy. All right, we'll catch up with you. Okay, so there's my little, that's my lady dog. Say hello, lady. Okay, here. Right. lady she's sad because she's on that side of the gate but she has to be because she'll run away I mean she does she comes back but I'm afraid of that road right there so I can't I've got to I've got to work with her still she's a good doggy though a good doggy Aren't you lady? Yeah. Good dog, cause she wants to be out here with me. Uh, I'll be right in, lady, okay? I just wanted to get that doggy because she's a beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. Alright, see ya.